Okay, here's another defense against a knife attack. He's attacking you, and he's doing a big wide swing. I I move back and I do an enter or a crescent heel kick. I just highlighted it for you right there. A crescent heel kick on the back of his hand. Now this requires that you actually have some jujitsu or karate ability. If you don't, you can't do this technique. And from there, I'm going to step up and do a shuto right onto the back of his neck, <coughs> which will knock him to the ground, where I'll finish him by stomping him on the throat. <coughs> Here he's trying to attack me again. And this time I use my forearm to do a rising block with an overhead strike. At the same time I do the block, I have to retaliate. So I immediately snap a front snap kick into his groin. I don't want to give him a chance to do repeated attacks. So as, as soon as he, as he strikes at me, I block it and kick him in the groin. Now I follow up by locking his arm with a knife. And I crisscross my arm underneath, grab my own wrist. Now I've done an arm bar here. And I can take him and smash him on the ground and finish the fight. So I've blocked it. I've locked it. I continue to drive him all the way to the ground. I can take the knife out of his hand and cut his throat if I wanted. Or I can hold him there until the police come. <clears throat> all right, this guy's coming at me with a knife, but he, he's giving me a little bit of warning. So I, I'm giving myself a little bit of padding. You yank off your coat, and I wrap it around my wrist, my arm. And that's giving me just a little bit of pat.